working. Uh, huh? Yeah. That looks better. Huh? Was it picking it up twice? Because it's the same fucking microphone, just this one's default. I don't know. I don't it's know. It's fine. Anyway, hello everyone. I'm Hugo. Thanks. I'm for, Jake. Thanks for uh, sticking around despite the audio issues. Hopefully that will not be recurrent throughout the show like it was last time. Uh, we've been having issues with Hangouts recently. I don't know what the deal Just is. Just Hangouts. Just Hangouts. It doesn't happen when you're recording our normal episodes or anything. <sighs> so I don't know if it's a YouTube pushed an update or something. Or if it's just something specific to our setup when it collides with Hangouts. I don't know. Anyway, thanks for being here. <laughs> There we go. Yeah. So today we're here to open packages. We have more packages here than we might have had during Christmas time, actually. I'm not even kidding. Um, it's at least the amount that is the same. Uh, so I'm yeah. sick. Oh, he's sick. Uh, don't expect too much from him today. No. You get a you get a nice handicap. I get a handicap? You get a handicap for comedy today. Do I get mulligans? Mm, no mulligans. Oh, Jake is dead. I'm fucking, I'm so dead. And of course, as always, uh, ask us questions or just talk to us in the, you know, uh, chat and we'll try and get to it as we get to it. Uh, super chats we'll always read, uh, but we'll get to what we get to. We do our best. Just hang out. We're only two people. With you guys. This one's from Greg. Okay. He sent it priority, so you know it's important. <laughs> Someone says, why do you do this? I need to write my thesis. Clearly, you should be here instead of writing your thesis. Because What's your thesis, thesis in? Th I was going to say, thesis of what? Is it Tell dicks? Us, no, is it a thesis in like... Are you a urologist? Is it like a thesis in like are you studying, agricultural studies? Is it like a thesis in... I don't know. If you study cancer, we'll help. <laughs> um, with our comedy, we will provide you with enough cancer yeah, for testing materials. All right, it'll be anecdotal, but... Yeah. It'll be your own, so. So this one, <clears throat> you read this shit. Yeah, I assume I'll be the reader today. <coughs> I'll do my best. Dear Hugo and Jake, thanks for opening my other letter. Hopefully you will do the Bible Man video. I assume they oh. sent us a Bible Man, which we will. You remember the one you guys laughed at because the link was in the letter? How are you going to click on it? But I'm waiting to see your new Bible Man reviews. As a present from me to you, I give you videos. Love and potatoes, because nothing says God than making you hungry for french fries. The Genesis Code, which I don't know if you guys reviewed yet. Oh, boy. And this movie about someone holding a church hostage with a bomb to believe in Jesus. Yes, it's as fucked as it gets. Also, if you are selling Magusta shirts with Jake's head on it, let me know. We'll That'll let you be know. a thing. And then there's uh, their... Uh, okay, so handle. the first one, it's not love and potatoes, it's faith like potatoes. Is this our second copy of faith like potatoes? Yes, it is. It might be. Although one of our other ones came on... It's a multi-pack, right? We got this in a multi-pack, so, so it's one of four movies on this disc, and we also got just we, the standalone. We might have to do a giveaway for faith like potatoes after we do... <laughs> Faith like potatoes. We're going to have to. We'll sign it or do something stupid. After my voice comes back. Yeah. Uh, anyway, the other one was Genesis Code. Apparently, it's also a Mighty Ducks ripoff. By the way, uh, Paul uh, Allen's in the chat. Paul. Paul Allen, you're way behind on Super Chats. I'm like five in. Paul, you're a wonderful human being, and I love you and respect you. Is he? Wait, he has five Super Chats already? Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God, Paul. <laughs> uh, Jesus Christ. Who had the very start in the no sound pool, he says. Good joke. That's a good joke. Here you go. Yeah. And then we also have Where Was God, which I don't even know if you can see this. Six dollars for this movie. They're sitting in a dark room. Six dollars. That's yeah, six for this one too. Um I so there, there there's a hostage situation. This one's gonna be intense. Where was God? Where was he? I assume this will be about sort of any sort of cataclysmic event. Not cataclysmic, but like any sort of newsworthy event, a mass shooting, a kidnapping, a the thesis of this, for instance, yeah. will be, why does God not stop? God's always here. It's just that sometimes he needs new angels. Let me uh, read this. That's what my um, people growing up, uh, people would say, like, when, when people die, it's just God angels. Because in my, in my school, we had, like, every year we had someone die in a car accident. Every year? Every year. Oh, okay. uh, And then one to cancer, one to suicide, and another one in a car accident the year after we graduated. Okay. And I come. I graduated with 113 kids, so this is statistically improbable. Um, but people would often say, because I went to all the funerals, 
would say like, oh, I just, you, you just need another angel for heaven. It's like, that's not what angels are. I would say that's statistically unlikely in a random population size of students that age group of 100 or so. But yeah. in that community, wow. Well, that doesn't shock me. I assume some that, of the accidents. Why that community? I assume some of the accidents were due to drinking and driving. Only one. Oh, that surprises me then. Yeah. That is statistically odd if that wasn't their fault. Anyway, the only one, and I think she was a hangover, the first one. Um, it was a sister, and the person who died was her brother, who was my classmate. Okay. And I believe she was either still drunk the night before because it was like a Monday, or she was just hung over because the yeah, roads were icy. Sure. And then another one of my classmates, their dad hit them, but they slid through the intersection. Oh. It rocked the community. I'd imagine it would. I can't. I'm, see, I, I remember is... a kid saying, like, well, he wasn't my friend. I don't care. I was like, whoo. <laughs> a little stink on that one. Oh, boy. That's probably. 14 year old edgelord. That's true for a lot of people, but you don't say that shit. That's weird. Yeah. Anyway, Ghost Elder, how much money to shave each other's faces? Uh, you To shave my beard, you'd have to pay me upwards of $5,000. Just me. I don't know what his price is. <clears throat> More. Because this, I, has, to, this still... has to. I mean, this will grow back, but like. I love my beard. My beard is like, it's just, it's, it's my, my comfort place. My beard's a three out of 10 beard to start with. And I've been working on this for, What's for mine? A, a year at What's least. Mine at? So six. I was going to say six or seven. Yeah. Not a terrible beard. Not great though. I mean, it's not, it's certainly not, you know, those like Russian or Eastern European beards where they like line the lips. Yeah. That's what I want, man. I want one of those. Like, it looks like a Brillo pad. You know how people say my eyes are squinty? Yeah. Someday I hope I can just grow a big long Fu Manchu and get old and just steer into the. Asian. You might look a little Asian when you get older. Oh, I'll steal it, steer into the Asian as I get older as much as possible. Oh man. Anyway, a desperate man asks a man <coughs> with a secret: Where was God? To the outside world, Pastor Tompkins had it all: a loving wife, a beautiful. This sounds like the opening to Bible Man. Miles Peterson had it all: yeah. wealth, status, success. And a thriving ministry. However, a member of his flock sees past the exterior to turmoil and frustration within. Mr. Johnson intends to test the pastor's faith, not in the Lord's house, but in his own. In search for answers, Mr. Johnson... Mr. Johnson isn't like a nefarious... Anyway. Takes him hostage in his own basement, <coughs> rigging the pastor's house with explosives. Both men carry a burden that they cannot lay down and their inner demons have driven them to the brink of destruction. With only one hour to convince him that God exists, Pastor Tompkins sets out to save his family, as well as Mr. Johnson's soul. Right. I could t I could convince you to, that God was real in an hour if if you wanted to believe it. Also, you know what I mean? <laughs> reminds me a lot of um, the episode <coughs> of the original series, The Twilight Zone, The Obsolete Man, in which Burgess Meredith is a librarian who is a Christian, He's determined to be of no use to the state anymore. It's like a, it's a allegory for like Nazism, yeah. statism, fascism, whatever. So they plant a bomb in his room and they're like, you're going to die in an hour. He decides that because he's going to be executed, but he gets to pick how he gets executed. And then someone comes in from the state and he locks them in with him and he has to like, anyway, someone who wrote this ripped off Twilight Zone. That's what I'm saying. Like I said, he's sick. I got a sack. That is a sack. We don't often receive sacks, but no. by, oh, defi actually, by definition, this is this is a sack. This is a sack. I think so. And the sack, the front of it's open. Uh, this is from uh, Al Alana. Uh, someone asked, uh, Jake, where do you get your shirt? Where did I get this shirt? Yeah. This shirt is so old, I don't remember. Maybe Target. Oh. I like Target shirts uh, from time to time. Okay. Yeah. Um, for the channel specifically, if you want to be a respectable human person, don't get tea graphic tees ever. But they're fun on camera. <laughs> so. It's a nice stripey card. One day it's going to be anthrax. I know it. We should probably start wearing gloves when we open these. I already have anthrax, so it's fine. Yeah. <coughs> Do you hear going, Jake? Please review the episode Doomed from the Beginning, TQR number 39. A time step at 354402. You're welcome. Uh, this is from Alana and Chase. Uh, Doomed from the Beginning, TQR number 39. That's us. Yeah. 354 to 402. 
Are you going to pull that up on your phone? I but, can. But also we have a thing in the sack. It looks like a pillow. Uh -uh. Dude, nothing gets me going more than popping cherries and watching gays burn in fire. <gasps> oh, it's a that's a quote. Oh, my God. That's lovely. There we go. Nothing gets me going. Asian porn actress about to come voice. I, I'm not feeling that. We like it when the audio works. No. It works now. No, don't do that. Don't do that. Me, me audio fix long time. Not attracted to, to, oh, to wow. Asian porn anymore. Oh, anymore. Never mind. I thought you are going to say you're not attracted to Asians, and thus I should stop. I was like, hey, give them a chance. Anyway, the audio is back. Hi, everyone. Sorry about that. We don't even do anything. It's only Hangouts. Why Google? Nice pen. This is yours. This is from. Uh, this is mine. Does uh, it say to Hugo or no, something? No, you just got. You get to open it. Oh, okay. This is from. Uh, I don't know, actually. Oh, this is probably the Paul Allen. A gift for you. Hi, Hugo and Jake. Hope you can use this to fix your audio streaming issues. Did not know what type you needed. I sent them all. The wow. Pa the Paul Allen. Yeah. He just sent. And oh, just no, no, no. What are you those doing? Are all the same. They all say the same thing. Trash can. Oh, you're right. You piece of human refuse. <clears throat> oh, you were going to throw these, these leaves of. Come on. Anyway, so these will hopefully help audio issues next time. Let's see. That is the correct one, I believe. Let's let's open our gifts. This is a USB C, which I'm straight up just gonna use for my. But I don't phone. even know if it's the problem. The cables work fine when we're not on Hangouts. I don't know. I don't know either. Why would it matter? Ooh, it smells. It smells new though. Is that a whiff? Mmm. Ooh, that smells like Chinese child. It labor. really does. I can smell. I can smell the sticky rice. I think that's Japanese, actually. I don't know. And then there's that one. That's just, just helpful. That's just handy. That's just handy to have. Yeah. Oh, wow.
tenuous. Hey, is it working? Is it working? Hey, there we go. Paul's cord. Round one. Okay, we've swapped out the cord, the old audio cord, for the one Paul. Uh, this is was kind of fun, actually. So kindly. It's sentence. like a will they, won't they be able to produce content? Oh, <sighs> super chat. The American Rue. Uh, how do you explain the resurrection of Jesus? Oh, we're getting into it. What do you believe happened after three days, and why did his disciples keep believing in him and God if he didn't rise from the dead? It didn't happen. Okay. What? Like, are you from 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 an anti-apologetic standpoint? <clears throat> I I guess I, I I believe that that there wasn't that guy that died there. I believe that at some point there was a guy, probably not named Yeshua, that died. I sound like garbage. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, some stories got tossed around. And then after that, like, it's hard for me to describe this from a non-religious point of view if you are indeed religious because you just are like, oh, that makes so much intuitive sense. But think about this. Like, there was a cult in Oregon um, that just sprung up was it Oregon I think it was um sprung up uh because uh there was an Indian guy um and he just came and then a lot of people died for him it wasn't real but he they die for him you know what I mean and it just happened uh just like that um Jonestown um I'm trying to think um I don't know there's just lots of situations like is it more real that like um monks self-immolate for their beliefs does that make them more real just because they die for it i don't think it does at all D does it make suicide bombers more legitimate like islam more legitimate specifically the more conservative the extremist conservative uh parts of islam does that make it more legitimate because they die what about uh i don't know like the japanese does that make their empire more legitimate because they kamikaze <laughs> you know what i'm saying like dying for a thing does not therefore legitimize it people that die for the wrong shit all, all the, the time. time. Yeah. Uh, for instance, uh, you know, Vietnam. Did that make America right because soldiers died? I don't think so. Frankly, it would make Vietnam right because they got their asses kicked more than the U.S. For the record. Okay. For the record. So why do you and why do you believe the disciples kept believing in him if they didn't see him rise from I, the dead? I don't. I don't believe that most of those disciples were people that existed. I think they were fictional. Um, <clears throat> I don't know how to explain it any other way than... Okay, so say there was a disciple that did believe in that. Um, it's because they wanted to believe in it. Like, something sounds true and good, and they're already religious. It's not like they're coming in from an atheist and being like, oh, I'm Jesus, and he convinces people. These people already believe in mysticism and, and, and magic, for lack of a better term, and religion, and they were already very devout Jewish people. It's, it's a very small step to go, and I'm the Messiah... If people believe you, yeah. you know what I mean? And if they genuinely believe you're the Messiah, of course they're going to continue to be like, what? <laughs> I don't understand how you, that's not a thing that people understand. I'm going to tackle this next one. Uh, Carolyn <sighs> Dobry says, what do you think about the Pope saying there's no hell and bad people just disappear? Have you heard this? What, uh, this? Also, Paul just said Heaven's Gate. Oh, okay. Um, so, uh, <coughs> with the thing the Pope said, that's actually not necessarily... He worded it in a way that made it sound fairly charitable. It's not really anything that's that radical and different from actual Catherine doctrine. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 or Catholic doctrine, did I say that? It, yeah. I felt like I said it wrong the first time. Anyway. He said Catherine. Catherine. <laughs> Catholic doctrine. Um, there are different interpretations. Some say like a fire. Some say uh, that only it's like metaphorical and yeah. that it means more a separation from God. Sure. Um, some people rightly bring up that the lake of fire was a euphemism for literally a trash heap in Israel at a time. So some people interpret that as, like you said, you just stop existing. You are in the trash pile. Hell yeah. is your soul going to not exist. Um, it's interesting, and I'm glad people are talking about it and aware that there are various interpretations and ways of looking at religions. <coughs> Sorry. It's just that it surprises me when people come out and say, like, the Pope said this thing against this thing. It's like, yeah. yeah. He says a lot there of There are a lot of interpretations about these things. Even internally within these churches, they talk about different... I think Christians are sometimes surprised that it's not all, like... Just blanket. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the... the... 
the way rules work in Christianity is kind of how they work in Islam anyway. It the, it's sort of revealed to them, and they interpret the word. What I thought you were going to say is rules work in uh, Catholicism the way they work in elementary school when you're playing a game and all of a sudden, yeah. I have a shield! Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of like You that. can't have all the powers! Rock, Lucas. paper, scissors, bazooka! Beats all of them! Anyway, um, well, another question from Leslie Clausen. $2 super chat. Thank you very much. Dealing with family member dying, testing my atheism. Uh, bereavement for atheists uh, is interesting, especially if you have a religious background. Yeah. Um, so, first of all, I'm sorry to hear about that. Yeah. Um, I I don't necessarily personally understand the, the conflict, except for the part where maybe you want to believe there's a better place for that person instead of their non-existence, which is much... I think non-existence for a lot of people, especially with a religious upbringing, is much harder to wrap around than it is for me. Because, like, it's just always been that way. I've never had this sort of fail-safe. Sure. So. I have a little more experience with yeah. this, seeing as though I came from more religious <clears throat> family. Um, I can understand the want or the draw when someone in your family or someone who's close to you is about to die and that the whole idea of afterlife, especially if it's something you were brought up in, it's so ingrained in you that it's almost impossible to separate yourself from it, even though rationally you might be able to say yeah. that's not really something we have evidence for. Um, and I don't know if I have specific advice just because I haven't, I've been fortunate enough. I haven't had a lot of people close to me um, pass, hmm. but I don't know. I think it's always been for me. I see the life someone had, however brief it might be, even if they were taken too soon, if they're young and they had an opportunity to be here and leave their mark. And you are fortunate enough to be able to know them in the short time that they had. Yeah. And that's how I kind of look at it and say, you know, I, <clears throat> if it's someone you really care about, you, sh I don't know. I, you just feel it's sad, but at the same time, Remember the things you want to remember about that person. Well, also, just just Hold imagine imagine the odds of you actually meeting this person. Yeah, Be, like the exist both of you not only existing at all, but existing at the same time in a place close enough nearby to have known that person, uh, even if it's genetic, even if there's it's like it's like grandma or grandpa or sure. whoever. Um, like just the odds of all of these things coalescing. It's. I think that's more impressive than like God went boop. So you know what I'm saying? Like I, it's just. So for me, this is just the perspective I look at it, and maybe yeah. this will or will not work for you. I try and look at it as how lucky are we to have been able to like be in each other's lives or whatever. Yeah. You know, even if it is tragic at this moment. I I, I have never once cried for the person that died. I'm more I've small. always, I've, I'm, if I've ever cried, it's been for the people around that are still alive. Like, because I just don't. I understand that, especially, you know like, especially with someone close to you, it almost feels like a part of you is gone. You know? Yeah. I mean, the closest I ever got to being really upset about the actual death. My brother, who was younger than me, his girlfriend died in a car accident yeah, years ago. I remember that. And that was pretty rough. Um, and it's not like her and I were very close, but obviously my brother was extremely affected. I mean, he still is. Um, but even then, I was more sad about him and her family than her. I mean, she's not experiencing anything. Yeah. So, I mean, there's no pain to be had. There's no loneliness for them to experience. They're not without you. You're without them. Um, and I think that's... I mean, I think that's better than, than like... Imagine, imagine dying and going to heaven and never being able to contact the people you love. Knowing they're there... Or, ha or the how the Christian viewpoint would be that they'll eventually, ideally, come of course, up with they eventually stuff. might. But what, like, it's like looking through a, a piece of glass that you can't bang yeah. through. You know what I'm saying? That to me is horrifying. Especially watching them grieve and like. Right. So I don't yeah. feel like like I understand like some people because you hear the nice stuff about the concept of heaven, but what about the actual experience in heaven? Yeah. I feel like that's horrible. Of course, they always say that like God would just make you feel better, which means you're not the person you would be anyway. Your personality is different, so eh. yeah. is it even you there? 
Another super chat, uh, not religious, just went to an apologetic <coughs> speech recently, yeah. and it got me thinking about what happened. I'm still an agnostic, but I'm curious about what happened, if anything happened at all. It was the yeah. same person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I didn't mean to say that I thought you were religious. Um, I meant just, like, the royal you in general. Like, if you believe, yeah. you know. Um, but thanks again for the uh, 9 dollars <laughs> I feel like we're on sale. <laughs> Appreciate uh, it. Retro Games Queen, new Rust server Ooh. starts tomorrow. Info pinned to our Discord. Woo! If you're into Rust, which is actually a very cool game now. Um, we do have a very active Discord community, and if you want to play Rust with some uh, peeps, do it up. Uh, we also missed uh, Spargu, who did uh, a one... Is that a pound or an English euro? I can't remember. Um, That's a pound. Pound. Uh, didn't say anything, just thank you for the super chat. Appreciate it. Oh, and... We can't even get to these super chats coming in so fast. Thank you. Um, Miss Elphaba, do you believe in ghosts? Who would you haunt? No. That's Elphaba. El Elphaba? Yeah. Like wicked. Oh. That's a guess. I'm guessing. Oh, okay. I Okay. Well, uh, no, I don't believe in ghosts. Neither does Hugo. In not fact, only, it irritates you. Not only do I not <laughs> believe in ghosts. Who would you haunt, though? The mere mention of anyone who believes in ghosts it makes me angry. Especially if it's an atheist, because it's just extend your skepticism. Just, uh, just not even, actually, don't extend your skepticism. Just like, just like look at that thing with that skepticism, because your skepticism already encompasses ghosts. What bugs me, too, there, you know how much I love Red Letter Media. Yeah, Mike Staclasa on that Mike channel. Mike believes in ghosts. Mike believes. Okay, he puts it as I'm a I'm a skeptic about it, but he watches like ghost hunters all the okay. time. Okay, being interested in the concept of ghosts and believing in ghosts are different. Like I think, I think um, UFO, the JFK conspiracy stuff. I love that shit, but like none of it's ever true, and I do it for two reasons. Number one, I just like hearing people's theories on stuff and seeing how they connect dots. Mm -hmm. And the second one is I like I like reconfirming or or I don't know like like a readmission of that or resubmitting my form of of is this correct or not and then having it come out with usually it's a yes but it'd be one thing if any of these shows were like any way earnest about what they're doing yeah but they're not they're all shows where the producers are fucking throwing shit off camera and yeah. you know making noises that's my problem too uh, anyway yeah but, hey by the way uh. Cord's working really good. So far. Thanks, Paul. Yeah. Uh, okay, we're gonna open this. Okay. I promise. I'm not I'm not ignoring you, person who just did super chat one second ago. Uh, this is from yeah, there was nothing on it anyway. It's just a straight up. This is from uh, A. I'm not gonna I don't know. They're from uh, How do ghosts see things if they're see-through? Yeah, the light would go right through their ghostly optic nerve. Why do ghosts wear clothes? Do the, their the, clothes die? Do their clothes die too? Now it's a residual self-image. Okay. Uh, how come they they stand on and can they pass through the entire Earth? They uh they function as though they would have on Earth because their residual self-image operates as if it would have if they were when when they were alive. That's my okay. That's my ghost person response. Um, no wax seals. Had some nice little stickers, though. This. Oh, we got some. We got some things occurring. Okay. We got. Uh, we got some some faith stickers. I'll give you a little sample. Behold the beauty of the Lord. Blessings of the Lord be upon you, and so on. Like some. Oh, that's so bright. That's so bright. You can't see that. Okay, never mind. These are just there's a there's a sheen on the front here. Uh, anyway, these are like stationary stickers. That's for you. <laughs> Jehovah's thickness, two dollars super chat. Thanks. Fill me with blooming onions, Hugo and Jake. We were just at out back. Yeah, he's uh we were. Uh, he is uh, an Australian man, hmm. and uh, when he visits the states, I'm going to buy him blooming onions. Does he find the concept of outback hilarious? Yes. Yes, he should. Uh, the king that released his bowels. This is a comic book about. Uh, this is incredible. This is a comic book about. By Ali R. Tome, featuring Hugo and Jake of The Bible Reloaded from episode number 38 of The Atheist Bible Study. This is a comic book. Are we featured in this comic book? We are featured in this comic book. And this is actually this is actually a well well done. Uh, like the art is really. Did we know this was coming? Is no. this someone we know? And maybe they told me and I forgot. I am Eglon, king of Moab, and this is fucking mine. 
Oh, we're gonna we're gonna have to read this. Yeah, this is where great. are we though? Oh, there's his uh, there's a little pooper. The art is actually really really. Cool. I like the art style. Yeah, let me take a look at this. Really great. Hold on one second. I'm so crabby. I'm sorry. You fucking only child piece of shit. Yeah. Uh, I think this is us. We're the guards. That's fucking awesome. Ooh. Ooh, what is happening here? It's when the fat guy gets stabbed and the sword yeah, I know, gets but... swallowed up by his fat. Show them that illustration. That's great. This is really, really good. Here you go. That's fucking cool. Yeah. Thanks. I wanna we have to do this on the show. I have to scan it or something. Yeah, I'll scan it. <clears throat> Unless the person who sent this would like to send us the digital oh, yeah. version of this. If you or know. if you would prefer we didn't. But I, I can't imagine you sent this to us not to want this on the show. It's super cool. Yeah. That's got to be us. We're the guards, right? I think so. Yeah. This is cool. That's so cool. I love that. <laughs> <clears throat> Neato. Miss El Elphaba. Ghost apologists. Okay. Spark gear. Hugo and Jake, I just got a new job to make, uh, oh, with a big pay raise. How much to see you two make out? Also, my name is a silent EU. Learn to English. Sparg? Uh, or UE. Uh, to make out? Oh, buddy. That's. It's in the thousands. It's in the, it's in the five digits, at least for me. Yeah. If I was a little gay, maybe. I was just talking about this with my girlfriend the other day. Uh, I get, I get, um, a lot of gay guys want to get in my butthole or vice versa. I don't know. Um, I would be swimming in dicks if I was gay. And it's kind of a bummer. <laughs> my balls would never be filled again. I'm sorry. It would just be, I've... I'm sorry for your struggle. It's not a struggle. It's just like, uh, it's just like, a man, I wish I liked D. I'm just saying, man. Don't let your dreams be dreams. I'm just saying. Well, they're not. I want to be in the NBA too, but I can't do that either. Okay? Physically or mentally. This one is. We have so many. Yeah. Okay, you can just pull this tab. This is from Jelly Telly. Jelly Telly. I don't it know. Feels that like is. a movie. Or a bomb. Please don't be a bomb. Be a pretty thin bomb. Uh, oh, not a bomb. Life goes on. Went, went. Dude, I would be chopped liver if Jake was by, says Legend of Phoenix, who is my girlfriend. Fried cassowary, $5. Good evening, as I, your lord of cassowaries. I hope your evening is as well as I have blessed the. Crab, crab on them haters. Uh, my boy Crab from the Discord. He gave us. Um, Dutch, those are crones? Okay. 20 of them. I don't know how much that's worth. You are good boys. Happy Halloween. Uh, someone sent us this one hour Bible for kids. So it's just a bunch of Bible stories, puppets, bunch of stuff. It's done by, puppets? by the same guy that did Veggie Tales. You stop it. I'm not kidding. That's what it says. I love that. Uh, it's from 2017, so it's a current thing. We're going to have to go on a marathon of these pretty soon. Yeah, we got a lot of these. Yeah, once I'm not sick... We planned on doing a couple things, but then Let's, I got sick as fuck. We gotta hit the fucking ground running. Yeah, I, I would. By yeah. the way, one day you're just gonna wake up and Space Jam is just gonna be up, and you're not. Gonna, <laughs> I'm not gonna fucking warn you. <laughs> <laughs> I want to believe you. Ugh. Okay. Now, this is a three-part gift, and it smells like cologne. I will. Okay, so uh, we have to open these in order. This one is from this is from Josiah, uh, and it has that weird Klingon writing on it. This one contains what you were worried that my January package was going to contain. Bwah ha ha ha! Evil grin. I don't remember what I said. I N thought it was going to be. Neither do I. Neither do I. Oh, we got another super chat. Sparg, whatever. Sparg. Uh, it's okay. I know the NBA and liking the D is exclusive. One is a reasonable goal. I'm sure Hugo will help out. Oh, 
Hmm. This just says beavers are not real in Klingon all around it. I thought I saw a beaver, but it was just a hoax. Beavers are not real. I I don't know what this meme is that they're memeing, but I love it. There's a cassette tape in here. Is there? This is a wrapping paper, I think. Well, of course, but they made it themselves. Yeah. You got the knife. I don't want to fuck this up. Oh, actually. yeah, here. You don't trust me with the knife. I've noticed. Oh, do you want the knife? No. I don't trust myself with it either. I'm just, I'm, I notice. All right. <laughs> what is in here? Oh, I ripped it. Oh, don't rip it. I didn't want to. It had to be done. I'm trying my best. There. There. Jehovah's Thickness. Hugo can handle my box any day. Not Jake. That's gay. Okay. So here's the wrapping paper. I'm going to keep this. And then it's it's a little plastic bag, but inside is a cassette tape. But there's something. There's a there's a treat. There's a Anthrax Live. So it's Anthrax. Anthrax. Oh, clever. Clever. Oh, here you go. Not a big fan of the band Anthrax. I also... Oh, and inside here is just ran random... Uh, I think that's the receipt for the tape. This, this is probably the receipt for the tape. So there's there's the details on... The, you can't see that. Motherfucker. I do not own a single piece of technology in my home. Me either. That will play this. All right, let's keep it for the, for the pile. What a, what a, what a creative young man. <laughs> All right, here you go. With the knife, even. Wow. I feel so honored. Yeah. <clears throat> Ooh. Jehovah's Thickness, Hugo can handle my box any day, not Jake that's gay. Did you already read that? Yes, I did. Oh, okay. This one's got a lot of paper. MBA, no, NBA. National Basketball Association. Not national. Oh no! What is it? Hold on one second. Why is there a? Why is what? what? Hold on. Okay. Oh no! <laughs> Remember? <laughs> I'm not in on this. I don't know what's going on. Are you gonna read that whole thing? I'll, a lot of it's. Uh this stuff. Anyway. Dear Hugo and Jake, since you are often sent VHS tapes, I wanted to make sure you are able to keep the old machines in tip-top shape. What? So I've enclosed a vial of VHS head cleaner that was obtained from my local adult video store. Colloquially known in the gay community as <gasps> poppers. Oh yeah! Someone sent us poppers. Which is legal. Right? It's VHS head cleaner. Yeah. Anyway. What? So you're supposed to drink this? No, 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 no. Do not drink that. No. You're supposed to inhale. You inhale it. Don't do it on camera. I'm not going to do any any of it ever. Oh. I just was wondering what the application was of this drug. Oh, you sniff it. Is it like ecstasy? Or does it make me want butt fuck? It makes you want butt fuck. <laughs> Why did that look make you go more? You're like, oh, well, maybe then. That'll it was twelve ninety five. Yeah, it's not an expensive drug. Anyway. What? Anyway, also since Jake requested a picture of Tom Hanks, I have enclosed an autographed picture of Tom Hanks with the Bible Reloaded Wilson. The autograph is probably fake, though, because I signed it. <laughs> <laughs> and mostly... <laughs> and I'm mostly sure I'm not Tom Hanks. <laughs> so there's... <laughs> This person gets our humor more than anyone I think has ever understood us. That's so funny. That's so great. I love it. Oh, God. Um, <laughs> the big ass stack of Christian comics are from a story <coughs> called Inherit the Mirth. I came across this title in some random YouTube video comment section. Some sourpuss old lady was going on about how sacrilegious they were, so I had to check them out. Some are actually quite humorous. When you're go. When you're gonna do another kids show, review the video. Review video. You should Google Flying House episode five. Watch that show. Recommendations. Blah 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 blah. blah. Uh, and then he just talks about different stuff. But yeah, never fake it. Oh, it, uh, it, it it's called Rush Original. I feel like they know. Oh, they do. They sell this on purpose. Yeah. Is this legal? 
it's legal to sell as a video head cleaner. Wow. Like Salvia. Wink. Or whatever. I've never, I, I didn't, okay. So so you, you sniff it, and then you just want stuff in your butt. It's, it's more complicated than that. I've never done it. I don't know. Me either. I've, never I've heard it. it makes you feel like really horny, and it makes you just ready to go. What a fucking... And like it, if Ugh. it does loosen up your muscles, your involuntary muscles, if you are going to partake in the anal sex. So, and here's a picture, I, I'm guessing, of just him. Should I show this? I don't know. Yeah? Okay. There he is in all his glory. This is also signed. Is this just going to be a thing now? <laughs> Fan send in. Paul started a trend. Fan send in signed pictures. This is just the Klingon alphabet, I think. Oh, yeah. And these are just the comic strips, which are probably funny, but I'll look at them later. Well, okay. We still have one more from Josiah. Okay. Not one more package, mind you. We still have a lot of packages. Yeah. Buckle the fuck in. This is going to be, we're going to be here for a while. Oh, today. yeah. There's there's no shortage of, of fun to be had today. Uh, did we miss any anything? Did we miss any of the chats of the Super Variety? Paul A, oh my god, beat me to sending poppers. <laughs> Jay Barrett. Uh, or yet. Thrift store cassette players are $3.99. That's cheaper than the cassette tape was, I think. <laughs> the Tux, dab on the haters and the masturbators, because if you touch yourself, it's a sin. Jesus. Yes. Uh, Spark again, one more pound. Thank you very much. Uh, and now we're down here. How, do, Spark, five pounds. How does Hugo know so much about poppers without doing them? Why do you know so little about poppers, even though you're clearly getting effed in the A every night? Whoa, wrecked. Fucking roasted. Paul, they have, they have to be holding a picture of the Paul Allen. I agree. I agree. In fact, I think that's mandatory. <laughs> Someone says this is to sniff it. We know we're not going to sniff it on camera. We're not. I'm not going to. We're not going to. Do I don't want to have to fuck Hugo. <sighs> Just think about that. It's going to fill my balls immediately, and they'll have to go somewhere. Your nearest. Chad Wilson, five dollars super chat. When you guys do your cooking show, that's probably never going to get. That you're probably never going to get to. Can you have Ray Comfort on as a guest? I. There's nothing more I would like. Than to barbecue with Ray Comfort on in the, my backyard. Oh my god! And we can make a banana themed dish, and it'll be like a fun. I make bananas Foster. I know how to make that. Yes, because I am the best wife. Oh my! Let me in, you. The poppers are already working. This smells like something. <laughs> Woo! Woo! <coughs> oh, Josiah. Oh, you sprayed the shit out of that with an axe body spray. Oh my goodness! Intentionally, this looks like a serial killer. This is hello on it. You can't. Uh... Oh, it's a little wet. Hello. What is the worst joke we've ever made on the show? Wide chest. Fuck. No, all. the one we bleeped. The one we bleeped. For those of you who haven't been with us for a long time, like the first year of TBR, we bleeped one. We bleeped one joke. I still, I stand by this. The, the, the yeah. I stand by the bleep. It's the only thing we've ever bleeped. Yep, that's the worst one. Hi guys, me again. And this is totally not, he's not trying to serial kill us with his text. I got a couple new DVD-R burners so I could send you the entire Flying House series? Now you don't have to Google the series to see the stupid episode by episode. There is also a set included that I want you to send out as a prize to a random viewer of this live unboxing. I printed off the Wikipedia Flying House page to go with it. The best part of the videos, excluding episode 5, are the occasional commercials. These are actually DVD rips of VHS tapes that were recorded off 80s TV. 80s commercials are fucking funny. My dad taped these when I was a kid. He owned a Christian bookstore when I was a kid. And a Christian radio station. It's past sad, but my dad is on par with Ken Ham. <laughs> I will be sending in samples of the top-notch bullshit from my earlier time soon enough. You will laugh. You will put the lotion in the basket. Wait, sorry, not that. That is someone else. <laughs> I love Josiah. I the people who are sending. What us is now. 
the people who are sending us stuff now are now so they're, they're on point. They're on point with our sense of humor. They're yeah. getting it now. It's super bizarre. The flying house. So here's just the, it's they just literally printed, out. The printed out Wikipedia page. Okay, so you can have that. I feel like we're in a fucking. Uh... The kids make buddies with Satan in episode five. Episode five starts at one hour and four minutes on disc one. Make sure to check out Marilyn Manson's newest album, Heaven Upside Down. It's great. <laughs> That's unrelated. <laughs> so now we have actual DVDs. He even printed off the page with hyperlinks. Oh, so these ones he are... printed off a page full of hyperlinks. So we have two copies. This one's for random giveaway. I love it. Okay, random giveaway bet thing, and then this one is ours. Okay. The kids make buddies with. Oh, okay, let's see. Oh wow, there is just that was a pretty fantastic one. This is all good. Oh, we missed super chats again. I don't know. Let's see. Paul, I want it. Send it to me. <laughs> uh, Sparg. Uh, I actually am getting effed in the A every night. As as a gay, it's a life goal. Winning. Good for you. Not every gay, yeah. but I hope if you are if you are gay, I hope you get as much dick as you ever want. Every 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 whatever orifice you want filled, or lady, frankly, uh, I just want you to have just all the dick that you ever want, or butthole. Or butthole. However, give, take, whatever. Any orifice. If you're straight, though, I don't care. <sighs> <laughs> okay. We're going to get into the big stuff soon. Here you go. Makes You Wonder Productions. Okay. You don't need a knife for that, I don't think. That one has the asbestos in it, though, so like, careful when you dump it on yourself. This one has a special. Those types of envelopes have that little fluffy shit in there. Yeah. I hate them. Oh, well, maybe it doesn't. Never mind. Wrap. That one doesn't have it. The big ones do. <coughs> oh, this is going to be good. The Adventures of Donkey Ollie. Sometimes one small donkey can change the world. Oh. Looks like a donkey in a Roman Colosseum about to be eaten by a lion. a lion. Because that's what happens in Roman Colosseums. That is so fragrant, Josiah. Whatever you put on that. Uh, refuse to indulge yourself next time. Uh, these four Ooh. these four episodes on one DVD are provided to you absolutely free because of donations to Boat Angel of Autos. Hey, thanks. Boats, trucks, motorcycles, and real estate. That... What? What? They sell boats, trucks, motorcycles, and real estate, but also they spread the word of the Lord. I'm very confused by... What? And then it what says, a business model. Ages three to ten, high quality three D animation. I find the the words you, high you, quality very suspect on the back of this floppy DVD case. Look, at, you know what? I'll give them credit. Huh? There's an actual thing on this. They didn't just like scribble on an oh. CDR. Oh, hold on, wait. It was upside down. That doesn't look high quality at all. Boat angel, car angel. Okay. That's uh. If this is your business, uh, free plug. Um, so they sell boats and cars to Christians. Is that kind of their their bag? I have no idea. That's two hundred and ten minutes. For the record, it's four episodes, so Ooh. it's probably like you know. Oh, oh boy, that's okay. a big one. Is it heavy? This is a very big one. All right, this is from Ozzy. Uh oh. From Friendswood, Texas. <laughs> Talk about revolutionary Catalonia. Catalonia. Catalonia, sorry. Yeah. That's what someone says in that. Okay. Talk about every time Leon Trotsky. <clears throat> Explain the pillow. The masses want to know. This pillow? From Alana. I believe Alana is the one that sent it. Oh. Uh, we, were, we did this earlier. We opened it earlier from you. Um, you knocked down Tom. Sorry. Come on, man. Tom. Got a real, real authentic... It's a pillow that says, Dude, nothing gets me going more than popping cherries and watching gays burning in fire. Yeah, but Which Alana's is a... the one that sent it. I know, it's a oh. quote from one of our things. And just in case anyone else oh. can see it. Um, but but uh, I don't remember the context. No. I say a lot of things. Uh, mm. This is very heavy. So I don't know... I don't know what's going on here. It may be... If this is a bomb, I just want you to know 
for the authorities, Oz, Ozzy, A-Z-I, from Friendswood, Texas. That should be enough to get go on. Okay. All right, here it goes. Oh, this is not a bomb. This is a bomb of knowledge. Oh, that's a lot of books. This is probably every volume of Honoring the True God. Oh, no. Oh, <clears throat> oh yes. Here's just a selection of books. Honoring the True... Oh, God. Honoring the True God. Comprehensive View of Romans. This is all W.E. Best. God's Eternal dis Decree. This one's just teal. Oh, no. Simple Faith by... <laughs> with a misnomer. Oh, man. This is... We, oh. have, we have so many fucking books. Woo! I mean, this whole box filled, filled. These are all different books. Oh, the typeface face on these are ridiculously huge. Is it? Let me see. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> what? Is that like 15 point? I don't know. Thanks. I'd say 16. Font guy over here. Wowzers. Okay. This looks like a terrible read. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> We can get some good stuff out of these. We probably well, they're definitely apologetics books. Oh yeah. Uh, so we could probably come up with a clever name because his name's best, the worst to the best. Oh. That's too close to best of the worst. That's already a thing. <clears throat> yeah, it is. I was gonna try to finagle our way out of it, but nope. Ah, uh. uh. we miss anything? Oh, we did. I look away from it for a second. What do you think of Dan Harmon? Thanks, mommies. We like Dan Harmon. <coughs> we yeah. Really, we really like Harmon Quest. We like Rick and Morty. I like him as a creative person. Apparently, he was a dick to work with for a while, but he's since apologized. Um, I don't know him personally. I like a, a lot of his work, yeah. if not all of it. Um, so, <clears throat> Lunos Nocturne, Dear Higgs Boson, and Josar. What's your... What's the best variant of Hugo and Jake that you've ever gotten? Higgs boson and Josar isn't far off. That's pretty good. Um, um, I liked in the Creationist Cat version of our intro when he made that. Mm -hmm. uh, when it says Hugo and Jake, it's 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 Chunk and or no, it's Sloth and uh, some other character. Yeah, from Goonies. Mm -hmm. I thought that was funny, even though that's not a word based one. It's a visual gag still. Mm. So uh, sometimes people just. Put two different, like like. Well, I've been we've been called TJ and Ben before, eh. so I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna give it to you though, cause you gave us five dollars. Thank you, Paul A. Shout out to Friendswood. They are they are down the road. Uh oh, Paul's gonna become best friends with Ozzy. <laughs> uh, the American Rue again, nine ninety nine. Appreciate it. Uh, have either of you heard of Ravi Zacharias? And if so, would you guys ever do a video on some of his works? I've read his book, The End of Reason, and I think it's a wor it's worth a response. I have not ever heard of him. Have you? Who, sir? Uh, Ravi Zacharias. No. Uh, okay. I guess we're, we're, we might. That was Leon Trotsky. Rebecca's. Yeah. Uh, some Canadian. $5. Hugo seen Basket Case. Please do a watch of Frank Henenlotter's films, especially Basket Case 3 and Bad Biology. It has a rogue sentient-ish penis. What? Basket Case what? is a film in which... Have you mentioned this before to me? I don't know if I... I must oh. have talked about it at some point. Uh, or I made a joke or quoted it or something. Uh, basically, it's... Um, <laughs> this guy carries around a basket. It's in New York. It's the 70s. So everything's it's crime ridden. It's gross. Sure. It's, it's New York in the 70s. Uh, and when you get him drunk enough, he'll, he'll, he'll tell you what's in the basket unless you get him drunk enough. And what's in the basket is his separated conjoined twin that's like a little fucking thing and they're on a revenge mission to kill all the doctors who separated them because they didn't want to be separated it's a trashy wonderful bit of 70s horror is it, like, is, it is it horror or is it like uh uh the toxic avenger no it's not like no, you know no, no i wouldn't no it's not um what, what, that's the name of that uh, company. Um, fuck. Paul's cord is working great. Yeah, it is. It's, thanks, Paul. Uh, 
it's not like one of those movies. Uh, it's not like a Toxic Avenger movie where it's like oh, that. Oh, you just show tits gratuitously? No, it's, oh, okay. You just have to see the movie. All right. I think he also did Monkey Shines, didn't he? <clears throat> I don't know what that is. No, that was someone else. No, Monkey Shines was him, right? No, George Romero was Monkey Shines. Never mind. I don't know. Gabriel Durham, $5 Super Chat. Thank you. Appreciate it. Any reads or vids for a new atheist that grew up in Christianity? Thanks for what y'all do. Ooh, um, the God Delusion, uh, while at this point to me is a little cringe, um, just because of the, the meaniness of that book, is a good book by Richard Dawkins. Um, it explains a lot of the reason you thought stuff and explains a lot of the reason behind like the way myths travel, and it will help you. It'll help you sort of ground these irrational beliefs you have that you had from Christianity and sort of the the why, the real life why reasons. Um, also videos, um, I think we, I mean, I think we do a good job personally. Um, you know, it's not as information dumpy. No. Um, so Wait, you're entertaining. It's kind of a passive thing for us. We've definitely gotten better at it over the years, but. We, we, we're good at sprinkling in apologetics without being cringe. Logic is really good. Um, Hate me all you want for saying this, but I'm going to go out and say uh -oh, this. Uh-oh. Steve Shives is an Atheist Read no, series. I don't hate you. It's still an excellent series. The the early the early and Atheist Read stuff from Steve Shives is good. Um, That's still great material. He, uh, he, he hates us. Yeah. Well, I miss you, Steve. Miss you, buddy. Uh, also watch our old Steve Shives chick tracks because it's just uh, what a, what a what a what a weird world. Yeah, we live in. Paul, hold on. What do you think of Paulagia? I don't know what that means. I've heard of it before. Heard of this person before, and why can't I? Why can't I? I've run into them on Twitter. I think. Okay. I don't know. <clears throat> Ash Farther. I think the thing should be called best. Best's worst apologetics. That's, That's good. That's pretty good. TM. Also, sorry, I haven't sent anything yet. Arkansas has nothing but rice, chicken, lumber, and methamphetamines to send. Not a good idea. Uh, you can well, send us some of those things. I don't like rice, chicken, or lumber. Yeah. I'll Wink. take some lumber. <laughs> what if he just sent us like $4,000 worth of lumber? What if you sent us just actual crystal methamphetamine? Like, please, oh, please don't do. I would. That bluff this was called. Jo this joke just became an, an a, a felony. A felony. Interstate commerce laws. Uh oh. Qualia soup and theremin trees are also good. Paulagia. Why am I? I can't remember. Why can't I remember? There's there's plenty of other good things. I think uh, Matt Dillhunty. Oh yeah. Um, anything uh, that he's doing with apologetics. Um, like the debates and stuff, they're all very, very good. Also, uh, shout out to Matt, who's just a good person. I like him. Um, he, he, he said, I always have an invitation in his guest room. What a nice dude. Um, he's also a very good magician and a guitar player. Not a lot of people know that about him. Um, I mean, there's so many, there's so many people that are, that are good at this kind of stuff. Oh, um, Universe in a Nutshell by, uh, Stephen Hawking. Rip. Um, good book. You ever read that? I have it. That's a good yeah. book. Yeah. I had it too at one point. I had a. Uh, I think I had. I had one. a universe. What was it? Uh, it was a universe in a nutshell and um, um, time something. I had both those books at, in one, but I don't know where they're at. I think I lost I, them. I think in you a might have given. Them Did I give them? To, you gave them to me okay. in a move, and I have an extra copy somewhere. I'll, yeah, I'll bring them back to you yeah. next time I find it. But they're very good books. So yeah, that kind of stuff. Okay, on to the package from. Uh, someone from Oklahoma. We're gonna open this up. Ah, ah, ah. Please don't be a bomb. Uh, Leon Trotsky, what do you think of the YouTuber <coughs> ContraPoints? I don't know. ContraPoints? Uh, I haven't seen I believe ContraPoints is a... See, I don't watch this a lot either because I believe... Yeah. Um... A lot of feminism stuff usually, but I know I've seen one but, video that I didn't disagree. I know what I did watch one video. Well, I'm not saying I disagree. I just don't like the conversation usually. Okay. But ContraPoints is a is a trans woman, if I remember correctly, okay. who has really cool lighting and does. Um, are you familiar with Thomas? Uh, what was it? Sand Sam Sanders? 
Ooh, tumble. Uh, the the vine guy. Um, mm -hmm. anyway, he's really good. I forget his name okay. for some reason. Um, uh, she plays like characters sure. and like talks to herself, and that's pretty cool. I'm just not into like the general aspect of the content typically. Um, I know after, but I have watched some stuff after the um the that. Big, there was, you know, when there was that rally and there were like actual Nazis there, yeah. whenever that was. I know she did a video after that that I watched and I enjoyed that video. Yeah. But I haven't really taken the time to look at the channel. Mm -hmm. so. uh, a lot of people like uh, her stuff. So, yeah. yeah. I mean, uh, I haven't watched a ton of it. Uh, I just got a Nerf ball in the mail. So, we're going to talk about that. Okay. okay. There's, there's a lot going on here that I think. Okay. Hold on. Don't look at any of this. Okay. I'm there's, there's, at there's, this. There's, there's, there's some things occurring. Okay. There's a picture of a puppo, though. Look at that puppy. You don't care. It's a cute puppy. And there's little doggers. We'll put him right up here. I like dogs. Dogs, we don't deserve them. Okay. Dearest Papa Bird Jake and Uncle Hugo. Uncle Hugo. Can you change your name to Uncle Hugo on Twitter now? I really like that. Uh, <clears throat> I did not know what to send you guys, so I went through my bedroom... Found a bunch of stuff I did not need or want and threw it into a box. Enjoy. Thank you. Below are some notes about a few of the items. Go through the box before while reading this. Spoilers. Uh, okay. So um, we have a, a Nerf ball for a dog. And I can tell you that my dog Darwin will love the fuck out of this. It's, it's and I'm, I'm not kidding. He will love that so much. It's got like a crinkly inside. Is he going to rip this apart though? Yeah, probably what? eventually. It'll last a little while. It'll last a while. He's he's pretty aggressive. Um. Okay, we got some stuff. <laughs> we got a Trojan Platinum Pack. It's used. What, what varieties? It's used. I want to know what varieties he used the most. So. Bears, okay, so there's Bearskin Ultra Ribbed Ecstasy. Charged in Her Pleasure Ecstasy. If the Her Pleasures aren't just gone... I don't think it's a he though, was it? No, this is a, this is a this is a girl. Okay. Unless unless Brittany is a, is a man, that's fine. The her pleasures better be gone. I better not see one of those Brittany's boyfriend or ex or husband or whoever's or just Brittany in general who practices safe sex like an adult. I appreciate you. Let's not say what it is on it. I don't know. This just looks. Uh, like this is a. This is something. I don't know. This is like a keychain with like a music note on it. Here you go. Stimulations Ecstasy. Here's a doggy bone. He'll love this as well. My dog is getting spoiled today. Hey, by the way, you can always send dog stuff. Uh, just not too much. You know, if you want to send one thing for Darwin, I'm fine with that. Uh, here's the piece de resistance. A used ball gag. Can I just point out whoever... I'm not putting this in my mouth. How much? Name your price. I'll do that one for free. You'll you'll put a ball gag in your mouth for free. That's been definitely been used probably at the same time as those. Yes, I'd also like to point out the the thinnest ones were not used, which gives me uh, pause and makes me think whoever you're fucking doesn't last very long. Well, that's okay. You know, R.I.P. That person. Uh, there's a little zebra. Uh, I remember these from when I was a kid. I don't know what they're called. I'm not I'm not taking you out of that. So you know. Uh, Let's do do the thing that's there's going. A, there's a long, dog collar. Did your fucking dog die? <laughs> Did your pup die? He's right there. I hope he's okay. I got a check peach soda. I'm gonna try that right now. I don't know what these are from. I'm gonna at least wipe this off a little bit. All right. All right. You wanna? I don't wanna. Well, no. Okay, here, put this on me. I don't want to put a ball gag on you. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Just turn. I'll get it. Come on. Oh. This won't be the first or last time. So, you want one more? How tight is that? Is that too tight? Uh -huh. If I go here, is that okay? Oh. I was telling someone the other day. I ha I think this channel we've done a good job of maintaining our integrity. But our dignity is another matter entirely. I have no idea what you're talking about.
What a terrible ball gag. You didn't tighten it enough. <laughs> <coughs> Let me see if there's any super jazz before I go through I the really rest hope of this. this person didn't have mouth herpes. Well, uh, it's far too late for that. Um, let me look and see if there's any super chats we missed. Uh, okay. So, Liz Parr, $5. Thank you very much. I'm out of the loop. Oh, I'm out of the loop. I got I got zooped to the bottom because there was another yeah. Paul Allen chat. Uh, what happened between y'all and Steve? P.S. Stoic and Buddhist philosophy can help with people newly atheists. Um, yeah, don't become a Buddhist. It's also wrong. Um, I mean, if you like Buddhism, it's not real for it, but I just, you know, it doesn't make it correct. Um, when nothing really happened between us and Steve. It's not like we had a falling um, out. Steve just went off the deep end, man. Steve, I don't like the idea of just calling everybody an asshole that you disagree with. And even if they are, and sometimes he's totally right about who's an asshole and a piece of shit. Sometimes it's just not right. Like, I mean, us and all our followers got blocked. I don't think, are we anti-feminists ever? No, I'm not. Right. I'm just, you know, I'm I'm anti-Shivesian brand of that attitude. I just don't, I can't, I won't abide. You know what I mean? The blockiness. The blockiness and, and just, the, just the, the walling off of everyone. And, you know, not a big fan of the puppet content. Um... But that's besides the point. I really, I still do like his atheist read series, and um, I think it's good content. And if you watch Steve, I don't care. Go watch Steve. Support him if you won't think he deserves it. Um, so yeah, I don't know. There's not really a thing between us personally. I just he used to be cool. You know, he used to be decent, and like he could deal with people like saying off color shit. I mean, on on the chick tracks, he said like he changed five stupid things to five blank things because he felt it was ableist. Now. I get it, like, he wants to try to be nice to everybody, but there's a certain threshold you breach with. I think my dog just got clawed by my cat. But, uh, I don't know, it's just like, call him the fuck down, man. And, um, I don't know. I think, I think he needs to get out of the situation he's in. But, uh, if he ever wants to, uh, like, if he, if he was like, hey, can we, like, bury the hatchet and grab a beer? I would do that in a second. Because I, I, whenever I talked to Steve, he was a really pleasant guy. We always liked Steve. Yeah. And then he just he fucking... He, he's not friends with anybody that we're friends with still. Like, he used to be friends with, like, a lot of the community. He just, like, cut himself off and put himself in a little room. It's really weird. It's kind of like having a friend that got married and, like, nobody likes the wife. You know what I mean? And then they just, like, they're not allowed. Like, you ever see that, that meme that went around? Like, um, it was... Uh, you know, if you're going to be my boyfriend, here's the thing. You can't hang yeah, out with Jeremy that. after one. You know, I, you know, it's like that shit, man. And I'm not saying it's all his wife's fault. Um, I'm just saying uh, it's like that where it's, it's, ugh, he just, he sort of isolated himself and alienated it and, and ostracized a bunch of it. it was, you know. Paul, if you get a package from Oriental Trading, it's me. Oh, well, we got it. We did. Uh, we got another one now, huh? Uh, Miss El Elphaba. Now do some poppers. We're not going to because poppers, you had the ball I'm, gag. I'm, no, I'm not going to do the poppers, especially with the ball gag in my mouth. That's just too much. Two steps are done. Two. We're too close. B Thorpe, I don't think it was all from her dog. Yeah, me either. Not all of it. Paul, this is for just for Hugo. You rock. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> uh, for fuck's sake, Hugo, at least do it for money. <laughs> That was from uh, OBCT 537. Thank you very much. Uh, I got at least one more. The American Room 1999. My my goodness, man. Yeah. Uh, appreciate it a lot. Do you guys like audiobooks? I have a copy of The End of Reason on Audible, and I was wondering if I could send it to you guys. What's the best email to send it to? Also, how much do you guys know about Confucianism? Uh, uh, if you 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 audiobook, I so audiobook. what audio? Do you use the Unpop? email do I have yeah Un is it the the, un the unpopular culture at gmail.com that'll be Hugo's email yeah because I won't listen to it I just will forget I'm terrible at that how much do you know about Confucianism Confu nothing I know next to nothing not even next to it I'm not even next to the nothing I'm just <clears throat> in a in a plainer space of nothingness um Confucianism is um I know very little um um 
you know, Confucius say jokes, but um, very uh, thinky, like very um, like meditate on this. Think about it. Um, not a lot of emotion involved. But I, I kind of dig it. Um, again, it's just it the spiritual aspects of Eastern religion is, again, what I'm not about. Also, um, I'm not about all that. Don't give in to your primal side either. So, like, sometimes you just want to do poppers, you know? <laughs> all right. We still got more in this box. Oh, are we still on the ball gag we box? We are still on the ball Jeez. gag box. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna pull out a bunch oh, of stuff. Real another quick. copy of the action Bible. Carter and Alicia's wedding mix from May 29th, 2010. Apparently, you went to a wedding and you have their wedding music. There's no way that doesn't go in my car at some point. What's on this wedding mix from 2010? What was the hot wedding mix <coughs> songs of 2010? 2010. Let's get it started. Mazel Tov, Laheim. Black eyed peas. That's out of all the places in the song to like take just words from. That was a weird place to take. No, them. that's the best part. There's uh this, which is from some sports team, I assume, or a high school yeah. uh, mascot. We have Avengers Age of Ultron auto decal, if you want that. Um, oh, okay. We have a Sony PlayStation 4 Purple Burst decal skin. My color's kind of purple. You mind if I take that? No, that's okay. all yours. Cool. League of Regrettable Superheroes uh, is a book I have. I have this book. I have that book too. What the fuck? It was a loot crate book. That's what it was. That's why. Uh, and then, of course, the entire action Bible. Yep, I have that already. So that one's all yours. <laughs> cool. Put it in the book piles. Okay. Oh, where's our book piles? Here's a book. Ugh. DVDs over there, books over there. Yeah. Got... Sex toys over there. Do we have more than one sex toy? No, but we're gonna have to make a pile. We have uh, Star Wars playing cards, heroes and villains. I don't. I'll take whatever. Okay. Uh, Princess Amidala is a hero. Oh. Darth Maul is a villain. Why do I feel like it, it's this picture? Of Harrison Ford on this pack of playing cards, it looks like somehow in the 70s when he was shooting this particular whatever shoot for the movie, it's like he knew this is going to be on some shitty trading cards in 20 <laughs> years. I don't give a fuck. Also, Marvel shoelaces, which sounds very much like a you thing. Well, goddamn, this box is full. Of Did future me accidentally send a box into the past? Well, I got one more thing for that you. That makes the ball gag very interesting. Ryu from Street Fighter's headband. I'm neutral on that. Yeah, it's yours. Okay. And then we got some necklaces and stuff. So I'll wear this. I'll put this. Well, if we're oh, this was a loot crate thing. Okay. We buy houses. Escrow strategy LLC. Thank you for the bracelet. It's like a Livestrong bracelet. It's very small. And then we got a, a Tweety Bird lanyard. Oh, yeah, we should we should stock. We should prep. There we go. The Karate Kid. You're like Ralph Macchio. That's coming back. It's a good look. But... On YouTube, it's coming back. We yeah, got to talk about that on Unpop we this week. Skeptic conclusion. New profile pic. I love the faces of Hugo screenshot. Yeah, that's a good one. Good job. Oh, all right. <clears throat> yeah, these are Mardi Gras beads. Okay, so that's enough for that box. My doggo is going to love the toys. Okay. <clears throat> this one is from Calvin. To Hugo and Jake. That's us. Here you go, buddy. This one's yours. Okay, karate chop into this. Harukin! There you go. You're Hugo and Jake. Thanks for not being cunts, Calvin. <laughs> Here's some cool shit, because yeah, enjoy. <coughs> and then there's a poorly drawn Harold P. Hemisman. Looks like snack items from... Oh, you can't see it. Snack items from around the globe, perhaps. What is that? Asian. Certainly. Okay, so Asian Doritos that look like lightning bolts? American Hot Wing. All right, let's open these fuckers up. Okay. This one looks like a chicken dinner. Lay's chips. Woo! These, these smell stale. 
They're not. They taste like what? American barbecue is what they say? Hot wings. Oh, hot wings? They're not spicy. At least not yet. That's a Dorito. No. These look like Lay's, but they look like chicken dinner Lay's. I'm sorry, what? Chicken dinner Asia Lay's. No. Of course, there's a Hello Kitty thing in here. I'm pretty sure at least 15% of Japan's economy is my little, uh, or Hello these Kitty related. like, um, the chicken ramen packets on, on these. Do they? A little bit. Yeah, it does. What else we got? Oh, fuck. We just got a book. Just, just lotion. Just some lotion? Was it scented? It's just, oh. No, it's not scented. It's just like, it's fragrance-free. It's the good kind. I thought it was Lubriderm. It's not, but it still looks like a quality lotion. Choco pie. I want to try one of this. <coughs> Let's eat a choco pie. Looks like it's chocolate. What is this? Wafers with a creamy center. We got an Asian chicken. The chicken from Asia. Where are chickens indigenous to? I don't know. Someone find out where chickens are indigenous to. Oh, this smells like it's going to be... Someone said we forgot to read their letter. Oh, God. From what? Oh, this is, this is just a <coughs> chocolate cake little marshmallow in the center. If you want to try it. It's like a moon pie. It's a moon pie. Oh, there's another one. I'll save that and take it home. Oh, the condoms and ball gag. My boyfriend of four years broke up with me, so I have no more use for these. Why not hold on to the ball gag? Probably because she thought no one would ever put, no one would want to use a ball gag that's been used by someone else. Luckily, you sent it to the one person with no sense of uh, self worth. So, okay, so this peach soda is from Georgia. Ooh. I'm, they want me to try I forgot to try the soda. I gotta try the soda. What? These are grenade gum. Explosively strong gum. Is it gum with, like, popping candy in it? I don't know, but I'm gonna try this peach soda. Okay. You do that, I'll do this. Are you gonna want to try this? Because you should try it before I try it. Uh, no. You can go okay. I don't really like peach. This is Czech peach soda. Certainly smells grapey, the gum. Well, that smells like peach. This says explosive gum packed with power. Chew at your own risk if you dare. Woo! That's sweet. I get why you like it. Oh! <laughs> Is that... Ah! Is that very, very... You don't like that? Please don't miss... Oh! I'm sorry. That was close. I'm sorry. I dodged it. <laughs> what is in this? What's it taste like? Just, just do it. Immediately, you'll be like, "What?" what Last they factor, do nine out of. It says it's nine out of ten, but also it's its max. If I knew, I'll, I'll say I know you'll recognize this flavor. Is it from the the, the soap? You'll recognize the flavor, and you'll be like, "Woo!" It's 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 a. Uh, expectations thing more than it's gross. It's not gross. It's just... And actually, you're going to think these are great. You're going to fucking really? love this. I bet. Being sick. Oh, it's going to blow, blow me out? It tastes like you're eating Vicks Vapor Rub. <laughs> it's like a super cough drop. The eucalyptus is insane! Hey. Right? Pretty good. Palette fucked. Sure. They cleared you out though, right? Yeah. There you go. Very the grenades cool. are really good. My the inside of my nose burns. <laughs> yeah. 
Woo! That's some extreme shit right there. What are these? Uh, full of beans. Well, we got. We should save some of this now okay, because we'll I can't them. eat any of this. Okay, we'll save the rest. There's an Asian magazine though, or something. There's an Asian magazine. Is that Tom Hanks? No, I don't care about it. <laughs> Why is it in a plastic bag? I don't know. I'm kind of worried. Has it got nudes in it? Oh, it's multiple magazines. It's, uh, next magazine. That oh, just blew my doors off. And it's backwards because Asians read backwards. Oh, okay, we got some super chats. The single malt. Oh, boy. Wow. They have ads for smart <coughs> toilets. For what? Smart toilets. What are they? What's smart about them? They uh, shoot water at your butthole. That's smart. I don't know. My old Thorpe. <laughs> come Ryan. Hashtag come Ryan. Hashtag butt damn. Wow, that's an old one. I appreciate you, Thorpe. Um, uh, fried cassowary, five dollars. Chickens came from India and East Asia. There, they were wild and domesticated around seven thousand BC. Thank you. So saying Asian chicken is redundant. It is. Jason Hohen. Ten Canadian dollars, phone with no words. I believe Jason Hohen is the person, the talented individual who uh, created and edited uh, the Ask Hugo and Jake Reed's intros. Oh, if I remember correctly. Thank you. I could be giving credit where it's not due, um, but uh, very very good. Leon Trotsky, five dollars. What do you think of Albert Camus, Michael Foucault, and other similar philosophers? Um, I love uh, Camus. The Stranger is probably one of my favorite books. But you gotta get the you gotta get the right translation because he was French. Uh, it's Camus, by the way. Um, <clears throat> I put Camus and like um, who's this? Why can't I remember his name? The Slaughterhouse Five guy. I can't remember. Kurt Vonnegut. Vonnegut. Thank you. Uh, I put them in kind of the same category where they they take these really traumatic events in their life and then they do it. Um, the Stranger. Um, the correct tr correct translation. The best translation. The most entertaining translation. Is uh, it's got black and white like like lines uh, on it. Um, so if for the person who asked what other um, like philosophy books or atheism books, uh, it's a very short uh, fiction read, um, but it's kind of uh, it's about a guy who gets um, put into prison and given the death sentence. And his conversation, the second half of his basically his conversation with a the the preacher that's like absolving him of his sin before he dies. And that's it's really good, so it's I I I, I uh, strongly suggest it. Yeah. Ash Farther, chickens came from Jigglypuff in space, who sent them for we humans to consume. The bird from which chickens were domesticated is still up for debate. Thank you. Yeah, someone says Hugo looks like a fan of Goonies. What does that mean? The headband, buddy. That'll do it. Yeah, yeah. Come on, come on now. Goonies never say die. Never say die. Except when they almost died a bunch of times. A bunch? A Josh, times. Josh Brolin became uh, a supervillain? Yeah. You know, they felt really bad about making that kid do the truffle shuffle, so they actually, the director, paid for him to get like a nutritionist, and he lost a bunch of weight after that movie. Because <laughs> the director... I feel bad. Quit being fat, fatty. <laughs> Yeah, that's essentially what I just said, sure. No, that's what he did. <laughs> that's funny. Good oh, is them. this another Paul Allen? It is. <sighs> the Paul Allen. The this Paul one Allen. this one I had to pick up for... Is this the last one? No. Oh, my God. Uh, this one I had to pick up or um, the po the UPS was going to take it back. Oh, okay. So I don't know what's... It's very heavy. We got a lot going on here. Cool. So the... Paul Allen <clears throat> to begin Act Three of of this stream. Nope. Oh. Another picture. By the way, I will say, uh, where's this at? <clears throat> USPS, you rock! And it's a picture of Paul on the side, on the outside of the box. He's just being nice to the USPS ladies. When she brought this to me, she smiled. She liked this. <laughs> did she see this? She and... did. Do you know the older one? Not the one that gives you the bitch face to the post office, but the older lady that's yeah. on the right side. Yeah. It's Paul. Surprise. Oh, there's packages inside the package. 
Oh uh, my god, there's a thing that says play me like we're watching a fucking Saw movie. Play me? Oh my god, are we are we hold on? Do it now. I think there's a whole tape recorder. In here. A whole tape recorder? Which means we can play the cassette. I, I, <coughs> Paul? Paul. My guy. He said he stepped his game up. He said he stepped his game up on this one. Uh, Why do I have a newspaper? Let me make sure the volume's up, and then I'm going to press play. Okay? Okay? Ready? Yeah. It's your whole life making fun of the Bible. Now, the Bible's going to make fun of you. Before you, you'll see a copy of the King James Version of the Bible. Open it. Open it. Okay. There's King Bible. There's also a newspaper. Well, get the... is this a clue? <laughs> Where is the King James Bible in here? We ha uh, I don't know. Hold on. This is not it. Dude, that's all I got. Seven days. <laughs> what? It's the Paul Show with me. I'm Paul. It's the Paul Show with me. He's Paul. Hey, guys. It's the Paul Allen here and my crazy, wacky psychic, Miss Scott. He's crazy. We're coming at you nowhere near live from what I like to call the Pleasure Palace, a.k.a. The bedroom. Well, thank you for pressing play on the tape recorder. I'm just going to take this opportunity to say, ha, now it's the Paul Allen show, and also walk you through the contents of this box that I just shipped you. Now that you have it open, and assuming it hasn't shifted too, shifted too much in transit, uh, first on top, let's see, there's a wrapped package and a reused amazon wrapping if you want to cut that open that's going to be some wait for it if you want to pause we're going to pause you got it delicious barbecue sauce foo bar barbecue sauce it is also challenge accepted casey here is a texas chili recipe on a magnet yes oh. that's right a magnet oh Oh, also on. in the box, let's see what we got. Find the magnet. <laughs> this is Texas great. chili recipe on a magnet. Oh my god. There it is. Paul doesn't give a fuck anymore. Scorched earth. <laughs> if you want to open the Sam's Club photo, I'll wait a second while you open. Oh. The Sam's Club photos. <laughs> I got them. Hold Go on. Yeah. Oh my god. Are they all what I think they are? Is that every single one of them? <laughs> 65 thought... signed photos of the Paul Allen. We're going to have to send those to people. What? What is occurring? Figure Jesus Patreon filler. Or send me one a month for the next five years. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a picture of me and... Oh, what's this? Pancakes? That's right. Yeah, hold on. Whataburger. Oh, hold on. Greetings from under the sea, also, from the same Sam's Club photo thing. So I'll put that here. But there is indeed, there is indeed a Whataburger original pancake mix. Press play, please. Pancakes. Whataburger pancakes. Let's see, there's some VHS tapes from the great Jerry Falwell. So oh, yep. We have Jerry Falwell and the old time gospel. Ugh. We have Left Behind. Oh, remember when we did sit down to watch this for a review? It's really bad. And we haven't done it yet? Oh my god. <clears throat> okay, continue. Crap that, I'll be honest, I found in the pantry. Okay, hold on. And some leftover holiday m and m we got the M&M's so, and a ramen. Whataburger ketchup. Whataburger um, ketchup. <laughs> dec uh, decorations we got in China to celebrate the Chinese New Year. And a very special DVD. Open if you dare. Well, that's about it. Open if you dare. This is going to be the Paul Allen signing off from the micro cassette.
Is there is there special features? I'm just seeing if it. This sounds like a car. Oh, oh no! Salty salvation celebration. Oh no! This is the one. That's the one. This is the last one. I got creamy deluxe whole wheat shells and cheddar cheese sauce. What else do we get? Carrot cake and a mug. You like these mug things, right? Do you like carrot cake? I do. Here you go. All right. There's also another box in here that I'm unaware of. What? What? Oh, Hugo. Hmm. Look what our boy Paul Allen got you. Hey! 3D printer filament. Cool. That's awesome, actually. It's actually even the right... Uh, uh... He asked you what model you had. Not oh, so long ago. okay. Nice. Thank you. Wow, Paul. Green. What can I print in green? Paul, just wow. <laughs> Thank you. I... Uh... Relative to um, what you can actually make out of this much filament, it's actually cheaper than 2D printer ink. Really? Yeah, this is probably 20 bucks. Well, shit! <laughs> and it prints a lot. Thanks so much, Paul. You're... What a fucking treasure. I know. What a goddamn treasure. Okay. I'm... He's the best fan <clears throat> of possibly any franchise. Any. Jason Hohen, another Canadian $5. Appreciate you. Uh, and then we have another one. Another nine ninety nine from the American Rue. I discussed Confucianism on my page. I discussed the text and history and the people who came after Confucius. If you ever want to get school in Ruism, give me a call. Keep up the good work. Appreciate you, buddy. I assume by page, uh, if you were to click uh, on this person's um, profile, they would have a YouTube channel. So, uh, woo! Do that. Paul, no, you are the best, he says. What a humble super fan. I can't wait until we do a meetup because Paul, my son, <laughs> it's going to get wild. I'm just impressed that they had a mini yeah. recorder that they were just like. No, there's no way that Paul just had that around, right? It looks, it looks old enough. That's amazing. That is amazing. What a what a fucking box. This whole this whole process has been fucking wild. Okay, hold on. I need to oh. <clears throat> How many more we got? Two. We got this big one. And we got this one. Okay, there you go. Open that one. Okay. This is the one I said I had to open and wait for you to see. Yeah. Knife. Yeah. Oh my goodness. <coughs> I'm dying. Not yet. Whew. I'm gonna take this now. Yeah. I'm just gonna Oh yeah. What is okay. Alright. Alright. Stab. Yeah. That feels good. Open the what? Where is it? There wasn't one of those. No. Uh, 2018 calendar. Whew. I'm gonna shoot this calendar feature. This calendar features various uh, seating party arrangements. Party arrangements? Yeah, I think this is a box of party supplies. Are we gonna have a party? <gasps> oh, I see. What is it? It's set dressing. <laughs> <laughs> Set dressing. Oh, wow. Holy shit. That's actually pretty cool. Yep. 
I like that. Did you show them? Oh, yeah. That's who exists. It's like the books of the Bible and Bible. It's basically stuff you would put up on the wall of a Sunday school classroom. Which is this? Yeah. So exactly cool. what this is. There's actually another thing in here too. It's a, is this a giant Noah backdrop? This is a giant. <laughs> like if we unfolded this, we could do whole videos with Noah's Ark just in the background. I like that. That's fun. Okay, we could use that. They have a whole catalog of shit like this too. What the fuck? So someone just ordered. Thank you. Um, I don't know if there's a note in there. The Oriental Trading. This is this is from Paul. Oh, this is from Paul. Yeah, he said the Oriental Trading was for him. Cool. This is that one. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. All right. One more box. Okay. There's anthrax inside of it. <laughs> Solid. It's also a note, I believe. <clears throat> Dear Hugo and Jake, here are a few 90s era toys for you to unbox. I grabbed these from my local flea market. Love you guys' channel. Kurt from Pittsburgh. A.K.A. Pa Pain called hewing, living. Pain called living on YouTube. Sorry, your your anthrax thing bled through, and it blocked the letters. <clears throat> All right, see so that. Okay. All right. The premise of this is you're gonna see them and then present them to me because you're gonna shit your pants no matter what well, they are. Maybe they're shitty ones. You don't know. Yeah. Wow, there's a few of them. Okay. So, first one up. Oh, are these just straight sealed? Or... Oh, okay, here we go. Is it a cool thing? Is it a cool thing? God, it's so cool. Okay, <laughs> okay. hold on. Uh, well... It's the red one! It's the red, it's the red one. one! With, uh, with, uh... Don't use your mouth. Yeah, you're right. It's, uh, there he is. That's fucking fantastic. Jason. Jason in, in the flesh. Yeah. I had this! Holy shit! Happy birthday. This is a kazoo. <laughs> they were running out of ideas for turtles near the end. Yeah. Remember they had kind of really obscure ones and like weird. I had the I evil had this one too. I had evil turtles. Our army wrath. That's a pretty good one. Here you go. That's fucking rad. All right. There's more. This is great, guys. I love this shit. You guys are the best. It is a kazoo. I told you. It's more a whistle. Well. What the fuck is this? Tops Desert Storm trading cards. Oh, no. They made trading cards about Operation Desert Storm. I'm not going to open this right now. The Marines land rolling out F-16 fighter. This would Wowzers. Be, it, this would be like having Vietnam fucking yeah. <laughs> what a, trading card. I love it. That's disgusting. All right. Now let's see if I'm going to claim. I'm going to pre claim dibs on this one. It is he. Oh, that's Kevin fucking Sorbo, friend. Oh my god! If you think this isn't gonna get use in our God's Not Dead three review, what are you even doing here? What are you even doing? Ten inches tall, fully posable accessories included. I there's there's no market for this as far as like collectors are concerned. So we're opening this now. The box is taped shut anyway. Yeah. 
<sighs> is it mint in the box? Uh... Or does it look like someone repackaged it? Oh, that was mint in the box. That's mint, friend. Oh, that's mint. Uh, I just want you to know this. It pops open. Let it blow out a little bit. This looks just like Kevin Sorbo's real life chest. He was that ripped. It's weird seeing a 90s toy fresh out of the box. This is actually kind of bizarre. Yeah. Because it, it definitely has that 90s. Like, I remember I had a Hercules figure, Disney's Hercules. Yeah. That was fairly similar to this. It had the same kind of big joints. Hmm. It's weird seeing this toy aesthetic new today. Yeah. It's, it's a little weird. It's pretty cool, though. Yeah. Sorry about no one buying this until now, Kevin. <laughs> We'll put it to good use, though, I assure you. Oh, boy, will we? How does the sword fit in his hand if they're both open like that? Uh, is there, like, a thing in the hand that, like, clips in? Sometimes there's, like, a little notch on the sword. No. Uh, Let me see if there's instructions on the back so we can properly play with this. There's also the Hercules Legendary Sword. Holy shit, he's got a lot of, uh... Oh, I didn't know Hercules. Oh, this is a... Uh, wait, wait, wait. I'm sorry. Is this... Is this... Are those arrows? Those goddamn things arrows and not spears? I think they are. They they load into this. Oh. Well, but his hands don't seem to work in, in any way that makes sense. It's Hercules. It's back. It's, uh, what? Ugh. What are you doing there? This is amazing. Oh, wow. Load arrow in bow and pull back to release and fire. Is there an actual... The bowstring is actually on there. Okay. All right, chat. Uh, when's the next uh, Kenneth? When is Kenneth returning? Soon. Soon. Uh, uh, Kenneth is fun to do. Yeah. We had a lot of shit we wanted to do this last couple of weeks, but I got sick. Very annoyed. Very annoyed by that. Is that it? I have coughed up more lung butter than I thought I had. It's a lot of butter. It's a lot of lung. So do we have uh no what, you got some are we are we missing any super chats? I don't know. Yes. Are we? Oh I'm sorry. You piece of garbage. I am. I can only go up I can only go up to 818, so you're gonna have to go past that. Leon Trotsky, when's the next follow NV NV video, my dudes? It's kind of the same question. I can only go back that far too. Weirdly. Weird. Okay, if if we missed one, sorry. Uh, and then uh, Skeptic Conclusion, Fallout 4 featuring Kenneth Jr. Someone says we've been saying soon for half a year now. That's fair in regard to Kenneth. Let's set a timetable. Soon. In the next month? I'd like that. Okay. At, right after Space Jam. <laughs> it's coming, goddammit. You go should have rubbed the Vicks on Jake, then Jake would have no congestion. Yeah, rub me. Rub me with Vicks. Are you not going to rub me with Vicks? No. Oh. A little disappointing. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Anything else? Uh, let's go to 830, because we were late. Okay, 8.30 sounds good. 8.30 sounds good. So you got six minutes to ask your questions. We'll try to get to everybody. We'll definitely get to the Super Chats. <coughs> oh. Lung butter. Yes, lung butter is when your body fills your lungs with mucus, and then you cough it up, but it's thick and yellow. That's what's been happening. It's disgusting. Fried cassowary. A new Kenneth video and the Space Jam video will be out shortly after Star Citizen, Winky Face. Right after uh, Half-Life 3. Paul A., can I send more? <laughs> Paul! Paul, you have carte blanche, my friend. You can do friend. whatever you want. I think it's been made clear. Yeah. You're going to do you, and we're all going to love it. Yeah. So do what you, you got to do. Jake, what is your cat's name, and can we see it? Not technically, I mean, is my cat now, but uh, Sarah, my girlfriend, gets credit for the cat. Um, and her name is Ellie, and I, I, there's no chance I could find her. 
um, but she's a little black kitty. And uh, she was on, if you follow me on Twitter, you see them sometimes. They were spooning the other day. It was adorable. Um, why do you have a ball gag? We got it earlier what? in one of these packages. I picked yeah. it up, and I was fucking with it when you were talking. <coughs> it came in one of the packages, and I put it on earlier. Yeah, it's going to go into the boy panties, I think. Oh, that's... Yeah, we should do that. Actually, oh. just wait. No, no, no. Give it yeah. to me right here. Just, just like... Uh, let's put it right, right down the middle there. There we go. Okay. Okay, give me the cat. No way, she doesn't have the cat. All right. Hi, cat. Oh, God, it smells like X in here. <laughs> yeah, it does. Oh, this is Ellie. You can barely see her on my shirt because she is just black. Sometimes her butthole stinks. She's a big sausage. You're famous now. You're famous. Cats don't know what the internet is. She doesn't know what anything is. She doesn't even know what love is. No, stop it. Don't escape from me. Don't escape from me. She's purring. She loves me. I don't... I, I don't get it. She's a cat. Yeah, I know. Look at her being a cat. Look at her being a cat. Being a cat. You guys want to see her be a cat? Cat. Here you go. Oh, you're going to break your shoulders off. Okay. There was the cat. You're welcome. Now there's a bunch of people going, oh, kitty. Is that just it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Someone says, where's Darwin? Okay, not he's no, not coming there's in. too it's much, too much shit. shit. Yeah. She dances. She does dance. If any dog is aware of the internet, <coughs> it's Darwin. She doesn't know love and she loves me. Yes. When are you reviewing God's Not Dead 3? Uh, when we can get footage of it to show for a review. Yeah. We don't want to do it while it's still in uh, theaters. We want to see other people do more of an off-the-cuff, just-saw-it thing. I know Brad did his yeah. midnight screenings of it. Yeah, Brad's a good... Uh, Brad Jones. Uh, yeah. uh, Stone Gremlin Productions is his channel. Yeah. So uh, that's what you want to do? Go for it. Yeah, but once it comes out on DVD, we'll be hitting it. We're doing uh, Let There Be Light soon, though. Yes. Uh... Did they unbox a cat? I just got here from Vangis. Yes. B Thorpe, five dollars super chat. Uh, how much would I have to pay for you guys to endorse my cult? A little bit. <laughs> Wait, in in the super chat up top, it shows my face instead of like the Kirby thing, but in the actual super chat, it just shows the Kirby thing. I get Kirby in both. Mm -hmm. That's weird. Weird. You guys unboxed my heart today. Thanks, Freedom to be. Speaking of Brad, do you think Channel Awesome is salvageable? What? Do you think Channel Awesome is salvageable? I don't feel super comfortable talking in depth about it just because I know people who yeah. work there. Uh, Brad works for them. Um, but I Still? Do, yeah. Um, he's one of their bigger, because he was on there for, since the beginning. I assume he gets treated pretty <coughs> well. But from what I've heard, a lot of Channel Awesome producers have been treated pretty poorly. Yeah. Um, by uh, Doug Jones Doug himself. Um, Not Doug, Doug Walker. Doug Walker. I'm sorry. Not Jones. Uh, uh, and I, I get conflicting stories. Doug's probably a nice guy. It just seems like in the hecticness of it, he doesn't like give the people under him enough information to be moving forward on mm -hmm. the channel. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I just think. So many of their producers have moved straight to YouTube. Mm. Most people watch Brad through YouTube now, not through Channel Awesome. Or his website. Yeah. Uh, people like Lindsay Ellis, who was such a staple of uh, them when she was the Nostalgia Chick, and now she does her own thing, and it's, in my opinion, so much better. Yeah. <laughs> her quality has gone up considerably since she left Channel Awesome. So, I don't know. I still think Doug will be doing his thing years from now. Um, I still think Nostalgia Critic, because it was this staple <coughs> of early internet criticdom, yeah. I think he kind of just gets a pass uh, in the sense that I think he'll be around. Ooh. Not that we should excuse him for his shitty business practices, but um, I think th there'll be a shrinking. I don't think he'll be filming in that studio indefinitely that they rent out. Yeah, It'll move probably back to more a house situation at some point, which is fine. 
Sure. Honestly, I feel like that some of his nostalgia critic videos, they're less funny the more skitty he gets. Just review the movie. I actually like movie. it when uh, he he like the near the end of the video where he goes about like actually talking about the film itself. Yeah, his editorials, which are all that, are pretty decent. Yeah. It's just uh, I don't know. by the way, uh, for someone I love at that, it's uh, Adam from YourMovieSucks.org. He does he does a really good job. Did of... he used to be part of Channel Awesome? No, I don't know. I'm just saying know. whoever does movie reviews, that's oh. my, he's my favorite one. Gotcha. Um, he will be coming on the show soon, shortly. I actually had to cancel on the other day because I was sick, but. Bummer. Uh, Leon Trotsky, have a swell night. Also, do you listen to Bjork? I don't listen to Bjork. I do not either. Uh, Paul and Josiah both asked about the giveaway. Sorry, giveaway. Dan autocorrect. Was it on purpose? Um, uh, <laughs> uh, see, the person who got the last man giveaway hasn't gotten it yet. Um, he PM'd me last night. But if you want me to do a uh, Josiah... Uh, fan picture with the DVDs, or not the DVDs, the, uh, is the DVDs? Yeah, they're the DVD-Rs that you, you ripped of The Flying House. I will do that. So if you guys want that right now, uh, code word ball gag. Ball gag. And then, uh, mods will pick someone out of chat. Bernice Panders says, Hugo, do you watch the new DP? I haven't watched Drunken Peasants in a while. I haven't watched it since uh, uh, they left, actually. Oh, yeah? Since uh, TJ left. But that's just because I didn't watch a ton all the time because it's a long show. You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't like long-form content, yeah. generally. Depends. All right. Oh. ba la 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 gag You have a couple minutes. Yeah. YMS is amazing. Why is everyone saying ball gag? Do they want me to put the ball gag I back literally in? just said use the code word ball gag. Oh, I wasn't listening. Sorry. Ass. If I had the ball gag in, it wouldn't be an issue. Hope Hugo didn't get herpes from the ball gag. Gags on balls. Not, not quite. Ball sacks. Also not going to work. Paul. Paul gag. No. Solid. Oh, Uncle Hugo. <laughs> Uncle Hugo is a thing now. Yes. Going all in on it. Nice. All right. Picking. Picking. I guess you can't use PayPal for Super Chat. Can you not? <laughs> Review Gnomeo and Juliet 2. Sherlock Gnomes. God damn it. No. Why? The first one was terrible. Oh, man. Hugo likes that ball gag too much. Have you considered you don't love the ball gag enough? So the winner is at OBCT537. So OBCT537, please contact uh, myself at Papa Bird Jake um, on Twitter. Or go to our Discord and contact uh, Sarah. Also on um, Twitter, uh, at Legend of Phoenix, L-E-G-N-D, the second E is gone, of Phoenix uh, on Twitter. And we will make sure to get your information and send you uh, the DVDs and the signed picture. Yeah. Woo! OBCT537, woo! All right. Cool. That's fun. Those are fun. Anyway, so I guess that's it. That is it for now. That's a lot of stuff this uh, time. Paul, I think the cord saved it. It did. Thank I you, I guess Paul. that other cord is actually trash. But again, I don't know why. It only ever does it during the live stream. Why streams. only on, on Hangouts? Probably because it has to have a constant connection. And if it loses it even for a second, maybe it fucks up the system. Whereas when we're recording, it can kind of lose it for a second and get it back just fine. Not even a second because we haven't lost. I know, but I'm saying. We haven't like, lost like hiccups like that. I, I haven't mean, noticed it. That's weird. You guys are silly, of course. You guys are so ungay. I'm sad, man. Too bad we're not more gay. So we're gonna do these poppers, huh? Uh... If Hugo was my uncle, I would molest him. And count that's a counter molestation. That's preemptive. Do you have to be an uncle to molest people? Yes. Or a father. Did do 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 do. Get it? Because Catholics? Oh, I, get, I get it. Oh, all right. 
Now I have to walk all the way over there through this trash heap to turn this off. Maybe just will it. Can we will it? I'm wearing a headband. I think that gives you some kind of telepathic something. It's not working. All right, get the fuck up and do it then. Uh, go drink some tea, Jake. Feel better. I don't like tea. But I like you, Alana. Oh, God. That kind of implies I want to drink, like, Alana tea. Like, skin shaving. That's not what I, that's not what I want. I just saying that you seem nice. <laughs> so... What did, what did we learn? What did we learn? What did we learn? We should go to the P.O. Box more often. Also, oh. send stuff to the P.O. Box. It's totally, definitely in the description of this. Yes, it is. Good job. Yeah. Uh, if you want to be featured on here, absolutely do that. Uh, what else? Desert what else? Storm Trading Cards. Yes. Desert Storm. Document all of America's war crimes anyway.